Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. Today, we're going to use the Omicron to do a body plot of this Class D amplifier. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. I'm just going to show you how cool this Omicron software is. It comes in this really nice case, but yeah, really cool stuff. Uh, done another video on that, showed you the stuff that came in it. But let's go ahead and do this video. Alright guys, so this is the setup. I've shown it in some other videos, but the Class D amp, the input power right here, I'm using a multimeter to, to monitor that power. Uh, the AC power from the supply is right there. It's not connected right now. I need to connect that. And then the input, I've got a parallel connected differential probe. Here's the input signal from uh, this little body box right here. This is the wideband injection transformer. So it gives isolation from input to output, so I'm not, so everything's floating over here. Differential probes, you know, high impedance, that kind of thing. So we got differential probes here, we got the differential probes on the output, and we have both outputs tied to 8 ohm resistors, 200 watt. Uh, we're using this mix sig DP, and we're using this Pintech right here. Okay, so those are all the probes. I've got the PicoScope differential probe here. Yeah, it's kind of a mess because I'm kind of mixing up different tests that I'm doing. So, just wanted to sneak this one in here. Okay, now let me just show you where I've got the my Mac computer hooked up. And that's it. A little glare on the screen, I guess. But, yeah, it's... The Mac works great. I'm using Parallels programs so I can run Windows-based uh, software, no problem and the uh, USB is coming into this black one the red one's just uh, power for the laptop and that's that let me show you the the Omicron 100 box by the way I'll show a link for this power supply this is the one I'm using right here okay alright so using the amp probe here for temperature measurement got this stuck in the heat sink that you might have noticed and I've got this for the voltage that I showed you the probe. And I'll just lift that up and show you the size of the box. So my laptop sits on it very nicely. It's got a nice heavy box, nice big metal chassis on the box. So yeah, very nice. And there's my two inputs and here's the output. The uh, contents of the box. Uh, one of the scope probes came in this. There's another one here. And then a diskette and a bunch of pamphlets on how to run the thing very nice colored I mean very nice paper stock uh, you know just very high quality stuff and there's a box but lo and behold there's where you can keep all your cables it comes with all the ones that are not in here I'm using but it has all the the T fixtures and um, yeah just a bunch of different connectors a little calibration board down here inside there uh, very nice and then sit there and the box sits on top and this all sits on top but yeah there's a fixture here for measuring impedance of devices very nice and it fits in there nice and squeaky and then right in here is where uh, my little box sits I'm using that I showed you well the box sits here and then there's some connectors and there's uh, some another test board power source so yeah it holds everything then nice foam top so very nice box all right so I started up the software and it comes up with this window we got uh, vector network analysis, these two different types of analysis. We have this impedance measurement where we can do all these co cool things. A bunch of different types of impedance. We're going to show that in future videos. But let's just jump over here real quick. Do the gain phase. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select that. And we'll discard our past stuff. Okay, so then I get this menu. And I want to go to this guy here first of all. I want to look at how this is set up and I've got 20 dB, 20 dB attenuation that's 
I think that's fine. I think I'm going to stay with that for now. You can attenuate the signal more if you have a bigger signal coming in. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead with that. And then this, the input probe, is going to be a 10x. And I have differential probes coming in. I'm using my mix sig differential. Well, I'm actually using a dip. Yeah, I'm going to use the Pintech DP25 at the 20x setting at the input. So let's go 20x. And then I've got the mix sig DP1007. I got the DP1007 times 100 on the output. So let's do that. Okay, and so this is our setup. Our Bode box is going to inject the signal to the output. I'm actually using the isolation transformer. And then we're picking up the signal at the output of the isolation transformer to the input of the class D amp right here. And then with probe one, and then we go to the device under test, that's the DUT. And then we're looking at the output signal here. And we're going into an 8 ohm load, 200 watt load. So there we go. That looks good. Let's close that. Okay, we're going to number of points. Let's uh, increase our points. I, I don't think we have to go a whole lot of points. If we get some dropout, we'll change that. So we're going to go 10 hertz, 1 megahertz. So I can change that right here. It tells me the center is 500K span. So you, you know, you can. Set it up this way, or you can use center and span. And we're going to do log graph. See the log across here. And uh, okay, I'm going to do a constant level. I'm going to do 0 dB amps, so that's going to be good. And then, yeah, I'm just doing 20 dB attenuation on both inputs into the Omicron. One, uh, Bode 100 so that's the instrument down here bottom left corner there's a graph here's our traces on the left and right so uh, trace one is this one right here in the red it's the gain magnitude in decibels on the right is trace two and it's the phase and it's set up for 200 degrees to 200 degrees the gain up above is 20 dB we're gonna go higher we're gonna go uh, 60 dB I think 60 dB uh, down to I don't even know if we have to go 100 but we'll, we'll leave it there for now okay so now our uh, gain is on the left red blue on the right and we have this information up here I think I just oh that's where the cursors are oh yeah there's cursors right here so I can move those cursors around if I want and that's that stuff Okay, so all I have to do is go up here continuous or I can do a single. I'm going to do it continuous and then I'm going to bring up the power supply and power up the amp. So the first sweep is going to look pretty funky. There it is, looking pretty funky. Okay, now I'm bringing up the, now I'm bringing up the power. Alright, there we are. We got 47 volts. Wow, that thing's just racing across there. Okay, that's one thing I didn't show you, the receiver bandwidth to 1K. Let's slow that down to 100 hertz. See, and then it, now it slows down, because it kind of misses it. it. The resolution wasn't very good. So look at this, it's starting off at whatever decibels this is, which is about 27.56, it shows up here at the top. And then it comes up, and then look, there's 20K, and there you go. So here's 20K right here, right? 10K, you see it down here, 20K. So we come up here to the red curve. So it's really flat. And then it it has such a fast roll off that it kind of blips up like this. And then it does this really quick roll off. And now look at this. As it rolls off right here at about 150K, right there where it just passed, it drops down another at least 20 dB roll off. So in all, let's see what it does. Here's 100K from 100K 
to say one mag if we just imagine instead of the red dropping down there it hits the line right here this is if we look over to our left it's minus 40 db and we started at say up here at around 20 or 30 so that is over 6 so that's over 60 db per decade so that is like a three pole roll off that is really and then right here at 800k it rolls off again at another super steep like a brick wall so that is why the phase starts off here it's just below 20 if you look to the right it's below 20 degrees goes pretty darn flat until just after 10k here's 20k and then it really takes off because of the uh, fast fast filter so uh, yeah you see that more often in class D amps where they can have these digital roll-offs where they just inside the chip it just says hey after 20k take off and roll off so it's not you know you get this bump out here but this is 20 30 40 you know 40 50 kilohertz you get this peak all right there we go hope you thought that was interesting uh, this instrument is super cool and yeah just really cool now one thing about the phase I'll just mention is it takes off here and then from here after 180 degrees it takes off up here so really uh, that's just like going around a ball like 360 degrees so if you take the curve up here you can just continue watching that drop down and you can see how it's dropping down here wow I can smell that heat sink getting hot uh, let's see I, it's only 30 C but I can smell it <laughs> okay so there we go thanks guys that was pretty cool alright guys so what do you think uh, the Omicron is super cool software right if we could do output and input impedance, I want to get to that. So uh, I just wanted to kind of remind you how it looked for Boldy plots. But the impedance graphs are going to be really neat. You can do that for components as well. I need to show how to do that. So you can look at an inductor or a capacitor and plot the impedance. But where it's really going to come in is for output and input impedance, which is going to start um, maybe a series, but it's going to be a very important video or video series I'm going to do uh, that y'all want to stay tuned for that what do you guys think of this um, pretty cool class D amp looks like it's working as it should as far as the bolting nice and flat so passes that test uh, two thumbs up my patrons you become a patron for as little as a dollar a month and you can support the channel by just giving a thumbs up hitting a like that's a free way to help or using any of the links down below for Amazon or whatever for the Class D amp. Um, I'll put a link for the Bodhi 100. Omicron, super nice. They gave me this instrument to use. That was awesome of them. Uh, other than an email asking me if I received it, they've never asked me to say anything or do anything. I mean, I'm just supposed to use it, I think, three times or something like that to keep it, which I think I've done that now. But, yeah, that's the only thing they wanted me to do is just show it to you guys. Uh, but, yeah, I you know, I think it's a really impressive piece of equipment. I've used other uh, boxes called the Venable, and the, uh, I've actually used a Ridley box, too, and I really like this one. So, what do you guys think? Uh, pretty expensive, not for everybody's lab, but if you need something like this, pretty cool. Alright guys, when I do the impedance stuff, you're going to see some really cool stuff. But, alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.